Okay, I wanted to uh, show uh, my base at this point um, and explain a few things. This, I am in the plateau, and this is Mike's Concrete, which is 1500 influence, I think is the best base for a new person that doesn't already have the builder boon and all that. Uh, and I'm going to show you... Uh, that this base is also self-sustaining meaning I can do nothing and it's gonna just carry on look at this I get five plus food a day because of the fishing guy gives me two that's why I love fishing and then I have two hydroponics one you see here that has a composite boost so if you spend one food it doubles your food so instead of getting three you get six so it, you can just do that every day this one just has the regular garden mon, which boosts it from 3 to 4.5. Infirmary 2. It is uh, minus 2 meds a day, but that is the whole reason why you have the Lichenology. As you can see, Teresa is mine, plus 2. Oh, and are we in the middle of a siege right now? This is so damn annoying. All right. This is why you want the, the Lichenology uh, user. As you can see, even though the infirmary costs two, she cancels that out. Then I made a hydroponics outside. I don't have a, I'm looking for a meds booster for this. Not that I need it, uh, but I made a hydroponics and just made it meds. So now I'm getting plus food, plus meds, plus ammo from an outpost. It's the only way I could get ammo. Materials. Everything gets canceled out by the staging area. Plus, I'm getting one extra. Fuel, again, I can get there. I have one outpost for that. Parts, I'm getting as a hero bonus, and influence is hero bonus. So everything is here is in the plus. I could, I could just run around and do whatever I want. So that's what, uh, for food, never waste an outpost on it. Get hydroponics. Hydroponics, you need uh, water. You need power, water, and somebody that knows uh, gardening. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, something else. Something else. Uh, utilities. Utilities. But anyway, you make two hydro. You tear down the beds. You make the hydroponics. Why do you tear the beds? Use your outposts as beds. Reason being is because you always get two beds instead of one uh so it's pretty much the best everything else always gives you one if you get to take a fuel outpost gives you one ammo gives you one food would give you one that would be a waste if i had these foods food would be a waste this gives me five to six not needed storage you need machine shop this is important for the outside area the large spots you make the staging area this cancels out any upkeep for any of the other things cancels it out you can see it here you'll see materials staging area plus three machine shop plus one so hydroponics is minus one minus one so that's three i'm still getting a free material a day which is amazing the other thing is lounge why lounge it improves morale and you can add things like i did which gives a skill improvements for everyone but it gives you two beds. If you upgrade it, I think you can get three. But you need a leader of a sheriff. But you can at least get two beds out of it. So that's so I got two, four, six, seven, eight. I got the max eight beds. I could take another survivor in if I wanted. And even if I did that, my food would still only go down. Um, I'd get 4.5 food a day. So this is why it's so important to get that um, the fisher. As you can see, Warburton is mine. It gives me plus two food a day for nothing. Delicionology, Teresa, the plus two meds a day. And now, that's basically it. You can replicate. The other thing you want to do for these bases, this one has a backup generator, which makes it perfect. You need the still. It's very important. So this gives you the power. This gives you the water. And then you can make hydroponics. As long as you have uh, utilities. And don't waste it on guard or anything. Go straight for the hydroponics. Make an infirmary inside, and that's it. You're pretty much set. Use your outpost. I don't even have the max outpost. I can get one more if I upgrade a command center three. 
but I don't even need it. Use them for beds, ammo, and fuel. And now I can basically do whatever. And you can replicate this same base setup in, um, if you're in the foothills, more and more base. It's also 1500 influence. And if you go to the valley, you get Sikwilahun's Brewing Company. That already has water, and it already has a staging area thing with a bonus to it. So that's the awesome thing about that place, and that's also 1500 So all three of those bases are only 1500 and if you don't have the Builder Boon, which gives you power and water, even if you do, this may be an easier way. I, I love these bases, these three bases. Uh, and now, and as I'm showing, even though the morale isn't up the most... Um, I'm still, you can see here, I got one available bed, and that's because of the lounge. I'm still looking for a really good survivor, because I still got some, you know, people angry here over nonsense, but for the most part, they're always cheerful. The risk is very low, because I built everything. Um, I can boost this a little more if I get, uh, which I'm looking for, a med booster for the hydroponics medical. I like this. The storage I can boost up um, to one of these two which I may do and may storage but I hate that it just only lets you do food or meds but you, some people do that the infirmary I'd like to get it to three but I just need somebody that knows medicine um, you could do that too and it's still that's it so that's basically the base you want and like I said this is why you want this hero for the meds this hero for the, all of your driving and then this hero for the food and then you can get everything else like I got this guy has munitions I picked up this guy political science don't really need that this guy is the guy I made utilities and then it upgraded so quickly to electrical so now I could do generators water hydroponics that's the key. You get the utilities book or you recruit somebody to utilities so you can make hydroponics. That's the first skill you want after those two. And this is just another person that was awesome that I just managed to pick up. And that's my tip for making a base that just runs itself at this point. I don't have to pick up materials. You can go around and complete the missions and not have to worry about picking up rucksacks of food or finding it. You don't have to do that. You can search your map at, you know, slowly as you want, clear everything. You can help as many people as you want out and not have to worry about your, your group running out of food and stuff. It's, it's perfect. Just wanted to share that with you guys.